We knew that our science and our math achievement was not where it needed to be. And we began talking about how could we improve math and science instruction within our schools. We knew that STEM was a way that we could really integrate all of our math and science together. And because too often when, when you're teaching, you teach, you teach content areas in isolation. And so math doesn't make sense and science doesn't make sense because they're done in isolation. But when you can put them together and they make a concept come alive for a student, that's extremely important. Uh, we began by talking about a STEM Academy at the high school and how we would do that. But the more we delved into it, the more we felt that this was the right way to teach math and science. And so it shouldn't be limited to just a select group of students. It should be for everybody across the district. He said over and over again, if it's good for one group, it's good for all of our students. He said, how can we do this? And went to a conference and brought a book back to me to read on problem-based learning. So that became the foundation of our STEM program. We created a, a vision for this, and, and one of those was that we would have our teachers out into the community learning math and science, so the, and creating those challenges, those real-world challenges, and they would bring them back to the classroom. So I contacted businesses across the community and said, hey, I'd love for you to be able, would, would you allow for my teachers to come in and, and um, spend half a day? Mr. Clark actually introduced us to Toby, who is a local concrete company, and the light bulbs went off. The, the concrete, the mixtures, the chemistry really tied to not only science standards, but math standards as well. We introduce what they do um, with concrete and how it's not just concrete that you walk on, it's really a mixture of different solutions and different ingredients. And so the math really taught them about ratios and how the ratios of concrete really make it strengthen it or weaken it. And so that's what we focused on. Where, where are we trying to represent this? They got to touch, you know, the, yep. the aggregate, they got to touch the coarse grains and, and realize all the, the things that went into concrete and then the fun part was they got to make it. They got to figure out how to make it stronger, make a bridge that they would be willing to take their family across. Um, that's how we made it real for them. There you go. <laughs> for them, they're learning a process in life that they can use for the rest of their lives. They're learning how to integrate that technology to solve a problem. They're creating charts, they're creating graphs. It's, it's no longer creating a model of a planet. They're talking about how they manipulate a planet. How would they change a planet's atmosphere in order that life could exist? Or what type of animal would exist on this planet if it had this particular type of atmosphere? It's about really understanding what is out there. And I think for them later on in life, they'll look at things differently. Uh, parents will tell me, my kid is all the time saying, well, how could I improve that? And how could I improve this? So the kids would go home talking about science excited about math and parents say, I've never heard this before out of my child and and it's not just the students who are high achievers who are learning but it's all students who are learning because they're engaged and it's relevant to them and, and being relevant you're able to drive the rigor up because they are so engaged they want to what's next what's next it's teaching science in a way teaching math technology in a way that will last forever I don't know um, any other way I don't know science without STEM. I don't know how it would be effective, how the kids would learn, how would they would grow without having all of those components together. I don't, I don't know. It's a passion. It's, it's, it's a passion of mine to, to get the kids' hands in the mess and get it dirty. I don't care if we spill, we break. I mean, they have to encompass those things so that it will last a lifetime. It's important.